A 13-year-old boy was shot and killed by police in Utica. Body cam footage shows what led up to the shooting. Police say Niyama Way ran from officers during a stop Friday night and pointed what appeared to be a gun at them. An officer wrestled him to the ground and another officer fired a shot hitting the teen. He died at the hospital. The alleged weapon was later identified as a pellet gun, which police say was designed to resemble a Glock 17. The officers involved in the incident have been put on paper pending an investigation by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Some Utica residents are outraged over the shooting and are demanding accountability from the mayor. CBS 2's Michael George has been following this story all weekend. He's live in Utica tonight. Michael, there was a protest today at City Hall. Can you tell us a little bit more about what happened? Well, Jessica, Mary, a lot of anger in this community. We saw it there at City Hall, about 100 people protesting there peacefully, but they are calling for justice, even criminal charges against these officers. Now, the 13-year-old Nyam Wei is part of a refugee group. There's a large population here in Utica of refugees from Myanmar. The community is called the Karen community, and many of the protesters are Karen themselves. They say they face discrimination here in Utica. Now, at that protest, we also heard from the teenager's brother. Take a listen to what he said. He's telling me that my brother is not here with me and my family. He just graduated from middle school. One, just day, one day after that, now he's gone. I'm so sad that he's not with me now, and I feel so sad that I don't get to see him going to high school. I can't still believe it. I can't still wrap my head around there. And you can see behind me there is a growing memorial for Nya Wei Mue, and this is where many family and friends have been coming to leave candles, to leave flowers, and pay their respects. Uh, certainly a lot of heartbreak in the community right now. And Michael, what's next in the investigation to the shooting? Well, now uh, the New York State Attorney General is investigating. Now, that's standard procedure when there is an officer involved shooting that leads to a death. So the police department isn't really answering a lot of questions about whether or not the officers were justified, and that's really what the AG will determine. Were the officers justified when that officer did open fire, and did they follow procedure? And by the way, I'll also mention there's also an independent uh, investigation that the Utica Police Department will conduct by itself. Michael George, live in Utica. Thank you, Michael.